Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's possibly not morning when you are all watching, but it is definitely morning now. It is 5.37 in the morning. Um, coffee feature that hasn't been done in a little while. I'm currently at Central Station. I just want to do uh, another update on, um, on the track laying on platforms 13 and 14. Um, now that they are laying the tracks, um, that process involves quick change, pretty much. So basically, um, when you all saw the video of the ballast and sleepers mostly laid on platform 13, um, a video or two back, um, it was barely a day after, and, and the actual tracks had been laid uh, on platform 13. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to head up to the um, to the Redfern end of of 13, 12 and 13, and I want to see if they've um, if they've started the junctions connecting, uh, which will connect um, Sydney Yard to platforms 13 and 14. I've, I've never laid tracks myself before, but I'm um, at a guess. I'm thinking that those junctions might actually be laid sort of towards the end of the uh, end of the track lane. So we'll have a bit of a look here. It's got to be sort of careful though. A lot of the a lot of workers are uh, getting to work, um, like the rail workers on 13 and 14. I've noticed that they usually um, all get to work pretty early in the morning, which is very good. So just walk up to this end, sort of peek the phone over this white board here and we'll be able to sort of see if there's any uh, any progress made with, with these junctions. It's interesting here though, um, It's like the platform's sort of being replaced a bit. I thought the platform was fine, but anyway, I'm sure that there's a reason behind it all. Uh, no junction or tracks have been laid at that end just yet. Uh, no ballast either. Do what we did before and just pop the phone through these gaps. Nothing there just yet. Don't know if um, it's just my eyes playing with me because I was just looking through the phone screen. I can't actually see myself. Um, I can't see through these gaps very well because um, it's <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> um, but it looks like work might have actually started on platform 14. Or not. <laughs> um, no, there's just rails sitting next to um, yeah, next to the platform. Right, so you can just see there, sort of near the center of the screen, that there's a sleeper hiding under there. But I did see a photo the other day of um, of actual tracks completed in anchored tracks um, at some point here. Yeah, so so the tracks look like they have been laid a little bit, but there's also some rails between the rails have uh, just been placed there for um for track laying further back on the platform there one more look over okay cool 
now is we'll just go for a bit of a walk around to platform 14 and uh, see what we can see. Just on my way to work now. Um, I actually did want to come back here later today and do a video about this, but um, because the property I'm working at today uh, involves a 40 or so minute wait for my bus. Um, yeah, means I can sort of do this. changed the they've changed the fencing that's blocking off the like this end of platform 14 to the rest if you remember there was like this um like white fence like solid white fence now it's just a a see-through one kind of like kind of like what we were walking through before so i'll have to be quick with this not that there'd be much of a problem but so we'll just peek over from here i think So yes, there is a look at the progress of what's happening. Tracks have been laid on 13 to an extent, but, um, but not on 14. So what I'll do is I will keep coming back um, every now and again to um, just update on the happenings of, uh, of this track laying. But it'll be pretty, pretty good once it all opens. More room here at Sydney Terminal. I mean, I can't. I mean, I can't say that it's extremely packed, full of trains. However, um, and I don't know if this is going to hamper any kind of. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to stuff anything up for them or not. But they did get rid of that middle road between uh, between platforms nine and ten. And yeah, it'll be kind of good to have the two extra tracks in here, more room to store trains and uh, more room for passenger services as well, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, so there's that up, there's, there's that bit of the upgrade. Um, there's not too much more, sort of, I mean, from the top of my head, not too much more to, to go with the, this upgrade at Central. So once 13 and 14 are open, uh, Metro opens, um, all that kind of thing. Then it'll be pretty much finished, I think. You know, the escalators and lifts um, down on the central walk will open, heading up to platform 14. Um, one thing that we have to uh, to sort of look out for is the possibility that, and again, it's just a possibility, that these, these canopies, these shelters, the old ones may be may be torn down eventually and and replaced with something a bit more modern like this. Be interesting. Well that closed in maybe a bit more of a an extension of the central walk. You've got that really, really old tunnel that's under us, which I'll go down to now. I wonder if that could be closed and maybe opened up a little bit with lifts up and down to all of the platforms here at Sydney Terminal. However, there are a number of lifts already that you can get from Central Walk up to Sydney Terminal to be able to then um, easily, I guess, uh, head on to your platforms and, and things like that. I'm not sure if a, if a lift at each individual platform would, would help a lot because a lot of people do get off those trains and, you know, a big queue for the lifts and whatnot. However, in saying that, I realise that was just a stupid thing to say considering that a lot of people get off trains on platforms 16 and 17, 18 and 19 and they have lifts there, so <laughs> disregard. <laughs> anyway, I'm just sort of thinking out loud. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, there's, there's no indication that any of this that I'm saying is, is going to happen with the removal of the canopy so I just thought it was a bit weird that the staunchions were on the anchor point on top of one of the canopies um, will be oh, well, won't be used because there'll be staunchions 
in between um, in between the two tracks um, in between platforms uh, nine and ten. Yeah, so you've got this, this old tunnel here. I'm just wondering if that could be sort of modernised a little bit down the track. It just looks it looks cool. I mean, I like it personally. But we'll see what happens down the track. I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough of my ranting. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. I'm not going to bother walking right up to it now, uh, but the lift, the metro lift signs uncovered. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.